do not get a roommate do not get a roommate do not get a roommate hey besties welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl jada simone and you're watching jada's channel i don't love just anyone i am not just anyone i rock heels i rock jordans and i wear wigs and rock my natural can you believe it says i'm pretty but with dark skin Hey besties, so today's video is very, very special to me because this month makes one year that I moved into my first apartment. Y'all, this is like so crazy. Like it doesn't even feel like a whole year went by. When I tell you guys this year went like this, it went like this. Within a flash of an eye, I was already getting paperwork sent in my mailbox to renew my lease. And as I renew my lease, <laughs> you guys will not be seeing another apartment tour yet on my channel, maybe next year. But so far, I'm still in absolute love with my apartment, guys. Like this is such an amazing, accomplishment moving out on my own into my own apartment was such a big deal and a big step for me and honestly truly i am very proud of myself i've been doing nothing but elevating and obviously i plan on continuing to elevate but moving out had been something that i wanted to do since i graduated college and everybody who's a senior in college is usually like oh i'll get a job offer right out of school and move out and yada 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 and you have all these plans but if you know god you make plans and he laughs in your face because he has a plan he has everything already mapped out for your life and god definitely did his big one with this plan that he had for me so besties in honor of the one year anniversary of me moving out into my own apartment for the first time i wanted to do a little advice video on different things that i learned while going through the process of moving out on my own and really share some insight for those who are looking to move out on their own for the first time and try Trust me moving into my first apartment did not come easy it was not walk in the park but like i said when god has a plan everything definitely does fall into place and i honestly truly am just so blessed for my apartment i honestly feel like god just placed it into my lap at the right time and there was times that i wanted to move out that it wasn't right and things were rocky but honestly my biggest biggest tip for you guys is to honestly just keep faith if you believe in god or whoever you believe in if you are a spiritual person just keep the faith keep manifesting keep praying keep hoping keep wishing and keep working towards your goals and your goals will definitely happen so if you guys want to hear the tips and advice that i have for moving out into your first apartment on your own just keep on watching all right besties so i wrote notes on my phone so if you guys see me looking at my phone that is why i want to make sure i stay on topic i don't ramble and i don't miss anything so with that being said the first tip that i have is to do your research so there is a lot that goes into moving into any apartment whether it's your first second third last whether it's a home you always have to do your research you have to research the location you want to make sure that you're not in a rough neighborhood somewhere that is unsafe where there are break-ins and all of that extra stuff you want to make sure that where you're going to live is a reasonable distance away from your job because that is going to be a big thing if you work in office you will be traveling to your job every single day or if you're a hybrid like me you'll be traveling to your job two days out the week so it's definitely really important to gauge where your potential new apartment is and where your job is just to make sure that you are okay with driving that distance to work you also want to do your research to make sure that where you plan on living is not in the middle of nowhere you want to make sure that there are grocery stores you want to make sure there's a walmart target there are shopping centers gas stations car washes just all things that you might need and your everyday living banks like you want to make sure that you're around stuff you don't want to be in the middle of nowhere and be struggling to find things to do find places to go find restaurants you don't want to be driving 40 minutes to the next towns over trying to find things to do and hang out with friends because honestly truly that is not fun i lived in the middle of nowhere when i was in college but that's because my college was in the middle of nowhere and driving 30 minutes to the nearest town over to go to chick-fil-a walmart target was 
irritating very much irritating and where I live now I live very close to my family I'm only five minutes away from my mom's house and that's where I grew up my whole life so I can literally just drive to her real quick shoot I could walk to my mother's house and get there in 15 minutes there's a grocery store right right by my house I don't go to it but there is a grocery store right by my house there's a Walmart Target everything in the area I'm still in my hometown so I'm definitely very well acquainted with the area and I definitely feel safe in my neighborhood you also want to do your research and know what you can and cannot afford so I definitely suggest going on apartments.com and Zillow and just looking at the areas that you're interested in moving in looking at the price ranges how many bedrooms you want if you want a studio where the studio start if you want a one bedroom where the one bedroom start and that'll really give you a gauge on what you can and cannot afford because most of these apartments they want you to make three times the rent so if there's an apartment that you're eyeing that if you multiply that rent by three and you do not meet the monthly threshold you might want to consider a different location and you also want to do your research because you don't want to just jump into a living situation and regret it later you definitely want to vet the location where you will be living visit it at night visit it during the day see if it's rowdy see if there's people hanging out on the corners you just really want to know where you're going to be staying and I definitely suggest that you tour at least 10 apartments my apartment search honestly truly took me about two years I was not really in a rush to move out of my mom's house my mom wasn't kicking me out or anything like that it just got to the point where I needed more space y'all know I content create and I have a bunch of other things going on so I really wanted to just spread my wings and have my own space and be able to just feel comfortable and not claustrophobic in my space so I definitely toured apartments all over northern New Jersey to be honest with you and it definitely was a process I do know some people who literally toured like three or four apartments and ended up moving into what they thought was their dream apartment and hated it so you definitely do want to take your time look at everything even if something seems like your dream apartment don't just jump right into it tip number two is to save 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 you guys moving out on your own is so freaking expensive especially if you don't have a roommate or if you don't have a spouse who is moving out with you you'll be doing everything on your own and when I tell y'all it is no freaking joke your expenses literally double maybe even triple from moving out of your parents house y'all the amount of money that I spend in rent definitely could go to vacation I could be traveling way more than I do I could have way more designer stuff than I do but honestly I don't regret it because I love my apartment and I feel like it's definitely worth the money especially considering where I live and being so close to New York City but you definitely want to save I recommend having at least ten thousand dollars saved to move because these apartments want you to fill out an application fee they want Want first last and a deposit down and if you can't save 10k and you are really in a time crunch I definitely suggest you at least have three months worth of expenses saved especially with today's climate people are getting laid off left and right so you never want to be in a predicament where you just signed a lease that you're binded to and you have to pay rent and you can't make the rent because you just lost your job at least that three months of expense saving will give you a cushion to find a new job come up with some money Money and do what you gotta do also you have to get furniture please do not move out with no furniture no bed no nothing like if you have to do what you gotta do then you gotta do what you gotta do but if you want to move out and feel comfortable and feel safe and secure I definitely suggest saving up as much as you can so that at least you can get the necessities a bed a mattress a couch a TV and then you can work your way up from there and there are many more bills other than rent that you have to consider there are utilities cable if you are a cable person Wi-Fi everybody needs Wi-Fi especially if you work from home especially if you're a student especially if you're just a human being like you need Wi-Fi you need groceries that's a bill gas money any other monthly expenses like everything definitely does add up and you want to make sure that you're not only making enough income a month but you're also saving enough income because you definitely want that safety cushion tip number three is to build your credit score 
now. I'm pretty sure most of my besties are within my age. I'm 24 years old. A lot of y'all are still in college, just graduated college, and I know that credit is not the first thing on y'all mind, but honestly, it really should be the first thing on y'all mind. In order to move out, a lot of these apartments do require that you have a 650 credit score or greater. Some of them even require a 750 credit score, and the credit score is used to determine if you'll be able to pay your rent on time because when you have good credit that is just an indicator that you pay your credit card bills on time so if you do not have good credit or you don't have any credit at all you definitely do want to get a secure credit card there are a bunch of different apps that offer secure credit cards a bunch of different banks so just do your research and find what works for you I was fortunate enough that my uncle bought my first car which I do still have so he bought my first car and he financed it but it was in my name so that helped to build my credit and I also did get my first credit card while I was in college so I did use it for emergencies only groceries things like that and I paid it off and now I do have a couple more credit cards but I'm also super duper smart I pay more than the minimum every month and I really just try to keep my balances very low it's good to only use about 30 percent of your credit limit you don't want to max out your cards and you just really want to be very financially responsible because honestly moving out is all about being financially responsible financially secure and not really having to worry about living paycheck to paycheck so tip number three and this honestly might be different for everybody but this is just how i feel is do not get a roommate do not get a roommate do not get a roommate a few months before i moved into my apartment that i am now i did attempt to move out and get an apartment with a friend and that ended up horribly it's safe to say that we are no longer friends in a lot of cases it's really not smart to move in with friends because y'all could be the best of friends but you never know how anyone is until you live with them and they might be the worst person in the world and their true colors will definitely come out and show and in my case unfortunately that is what happened and it's really sad that I did lose a friend over this but it is what it is if you must get a roommate I feel like a lot of roommate situations that I hear of are more successful when you guys are not as close friends like you can be cordial but just because your roommates does not mean you have to be best friends so maybe that will work because there is a certain level of respect between those types of roommates I don't know like I said it's different for everybody but me I attempted it. It was a crash and burn. It was a horrible fail and I will never ever ever do it ever again. The next person I'm rooming with will be my husband. Tip number five is to make sure you're ready. The last thing you want to do is to move out and then a couple months later or even a year later after your lease is up to move back in to your parents house. You don't want to do it. Honestly I know of a few people who have done that and you might feel a sense of like regret or it might feel like you know you kind of failed yourself. You really want to make sure that you are mature enough to even live on your own. If you're still depending on your parents to do every single thing for you, wake you up to go to school wake you up to go to work feed you all of that if you still have to depend on your parents you are not ready to move out and you might as well just stay home and try again next year you also want to make sure that you are the type of person that can be alone with me i've always just been to myself even as a kid so i have always had no problem with being alone i honestly truly prefer being in my own little bubble and being alone that's where i feel most safe so moving out on my own was honestly a no brainer but some people can't stand being in their own company so you just really need to know if you are that person if you can be alone and can enjoy your own company then maybe moving out on your own is for you but if you cannot stomach the fact of being alone maybe you need a roommate my next tip is to shop as you go so me and my friends we joke all the time that I've manifested my move like I told you guys my moving process really took about two years of me doing my research browsing apartments touring apartments and even me shopping for the things that I wanted in my apartment so me and my friends we would go to Target we would go to Walmart me and my mom we would go to Marshall's just all those different stores and if I saw cute things and I was like oh this would be really cute in my apartment I would get it it didn't matter if the thing was 
five dollars ten dollars fifty dollars like i would just pick up little things here and there even if it's something as small as a waffle maker like my mom literally bought me a waffle maker two christmases ago before i was even ready to move out but in doing this it's helpful because even though you're picking up little things here and there those little things definitely do start to accumulate so that when it's time to move out it's like okay i have i have stuff like i have a bunch of bathroom stuff i have a bunch of kitchen stuff so that you don't have to put out as much money when it's actually time to move in and furnish your place all right besties so that is all for the tips that i have but i did really want to touch more on my first apartment experience like i said i am still in my first apartment and i'm still loving it it's been a year and i did renew my lease and like i mentioned before i feel like my apartment kind of just fell into my lap so i did have that failed attempt at moving out with a friend a few months before i moved in here and once that happened i really felt discouraged i was like you know what i'm okay with living with my parents for another year just saving more just really locking in and just making the most of it and i really had a lot of non-negotiables for myself with moving out with that friend i really felt like i compromised a lot as far as the place that i was willing to live in and i really kind of lowered my standards based on what they could afford but i promised myself that i would be moving into a brand new luxury building which is what essentially i did end up doing so how i got my apartment honestly truly like i said i really owe it to god so it was a friday i got sent home from work early and my car was in the shop so my dad had been driving me back and forth to work but i got a call that afternoon from a realtor to look at an apartment so i was like sure i have been looking at apartments for i think like the past two weeks before that so i was like okay you know it doesn't hurt to go look at an apartment so i called my dad he came and got me <laughs> from my mom's house and we went over to see the apartment now the realtor he was just super nice super warm super welcoming we went to tour the one bedroom model unit and i honestly fell in love the price was really good the amount of square footage was amazing it was way more that i had been seeing at any of the apartments that i toured within the last two years like every single apartment did not compare to this one bedroom it literally was a dream come true the kitchen was beautiful there was a nice island basically my apartment that i have now but like twice as big there was a walk-in closet it was just such an amazing apartment and i really fell in love now the realtor he told me that if i wanted the apartment i had to like hop on it because these apartments were going fast so that next day i did have a tour of two other apartments but i did fill out the application i got the application fee and i submitted everything and i got a call that monday or tuesday saying that i was not eligible for the one bedroom but because this realtor was so nice and such a kind man he really pushed for me to get the apartment i didn't make three times the rent which they didn't specify in the application so i just thought i could get away with it but he did tell me to write a little essay of three reasons why i wanted to live in this building and i feel like that really touched the hearts of the people who worked in the leasing office and he also really pushed for me to get into the this building so they did end up allowing me to tour the studio unit which i currently live in today and when i tell you guys the realtor he literally had just hopped off a flight took an uber all the way here just to show me this studio and again i fell in love when i tell you guys this is the biggest studio that i have ever seen in my entire life you guys saw my apartment tour like my studio has a bedroom like i literally live in a one bedroom unit my studio is more square footage than all of my friends that have one bedrooms like my apartment is really like that the only thing my apartment is missing is a door on the bedroom but hence studio so after i toured it and i was like look i'll take it i'll do whatever <laughs> they did approve me for the one bedroom and i was super duper excited the only thing it did take a little bit for me to move in so i feel like i got approved in like april and i didn't sign my lease until may 10th but everything just felt right like everything felt like it was falling into place this was the place for me it was the perfect place like god knew what he was doing because even when i tried to move out with a friend i was very anxious 
like very anxious the entire time I wasn't excited I didn't know why I couldn't get excited about that moving process but it was just God telling me that that was not the right time for me to be moving I shouldn't have been moving with a friend nothing about that situation was right but everything about this situation is right and it just goes to show that this was the apartment for me I just stayed patient with God I stayed faithful and he really showed out and did his big one and as you guys can see I'm still loving my apartment like this is the perfect little space for me and i just feel so blessed highly favorite and super duper thankful and grateful and i just want all of my besties who are trying to move out for the first time on their own to just really be patient like i said in the beginning just really be faithful and patient and pray and manifest and really just take your time this is nothing that should be a rush it should be something that's really tailored and specific to you and it will all fall into place and just feel perfect for you so good luck to all my besties that are going to be moving out this year and next year and the years to come i'm definitely rooting for you guys if you guys have any further questions don't forget to comment them down below or even dm me on instagram because i always answer my instagram dms and also thank you guys for all the congratulations that i got on my moving vlog my moving vlog did numbers i think my moving vlog is at like 11k it's my most watched video on my channel and i'm just so freaking grateful you guys don't even understand but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye